Oh. Now, in our next experiment, we're going to look at another thing which oscillates, which is the simple pendulum. So, to make this, you will need a piece of string or thread, or maybe a piece of wool, and a small toy or some other small object, which ideally has a bit of mass to it to make a good simple pendulum. So, this is much simpler to start oscillating. All you have to do is pull it maybe 5 or 10 centimetres back and let go and it starts oscillating. And for this one, you're going to time 10 complete oscillations. So, key thing to remember with this is again that you're going to start at 0. So, I'm going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, stop, and there I've timed 10 complete oscillations, so to get the time period I would then need to divide by 10. What I would like you to do then is to try it but with a, exactly the same experiment, but with a really small amplitude, so only pull it a little bit back from the centre. So Anna's going to start that again with a smaller amplitude, and I can try the same thing again, and go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and stop, which was again 10 complete oscillations, so I can divide by 10, to get the time period. And I want you to see how changing amplitude affects the time period. Once you've done that, you can think about uh, changing a variable. So, for example, you could change the length of the string by untying the string and making it longer or shorter, or you could change the mass of the thing that you've attached to the end if you've got a few different objects.